English Grammar Lesson 22. Topic: An Introduction to Articles. This is Part Two: Summary and Practice. Remember some basic guidelines for using articles. We use the indefinite article, a or an, when talking about something in general or for the first time. We also use a and an to classify, identify, or define. We use the definite article, the, to make a specific reference to a person or thing. That person or thing is known or possibly unique. We use the zero article to make a general reference to a non-count noun or plural count nouns. We also use the zero article with many proper nouns, names of places and people, for example. Exercise, an interview with Claudia. What article is needed? Read the interview script. Predict or guess which articles will be used. Then, watch and listen to hear the correct use of articles. Let's start with an example. Here's part of the interview script. As you read it, you see that you must decide in the first line if an article is needed before the word Brazil. Is an article needed? If so, which one? You make your guess, your prediction. And now, Let's watch the video to see if you're right. Claudia, you're from Brazil, right? Yes. Okay. Could I ask you a few questions about your country? Sure. You were correct if you chose the zero article. It's used before most names of countries, like Brazil. Number one, predict if any articles are needed. Let's listen and see if you're correct. What is the capital? Brasilia. Brasilia. You were correct if you chose the definite article before the word capital because we know which capital we're talking about, the capital of Brazil. You were also correct if you chose the zero article before the name of the capital, Brasilia. 2. Now number two is long, so you might write down your answers. There are four choices on this slide and four on the next. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Here's slide 2B. Did you note your predictions down? Let's see if you're correct. What is the capital? Brasilia. Brasilia. And I confess I don't know where Brasilia is. So can you tell me, is it in the north or the south of your country? It's kind of in the middle of the country. Is it close to the ocean, the coast? No, it's not. It's in between Goiás and Minas Gerais, okay. two states. You were correct if you predicted the use of the definite article on the first slide, the north, the south, the middle, the country. Both the listener and the speaker understood that they were talking about a specific country or a particular part or region of that country. Also, the middle is unique. There's only one place that can be called the middle. You were correct if you predicted the ocean, the coast because they're specific from context, they're understood. You were also correct if you used the zero article before the names of the two states. Number three. Again, you might want to note down your predictions. There's a second slide coming up. All right, let's go on to the next slide. Here's the second slide. All right, have you noted your predictions down? 
Then let's watch. Claudia, I know you've been here for 11 years, you said. Yes. That's a long time. <laughs> Surely there's a few things that you miss about your home country. Yes, I do. I miss the food and <laughs> I really miss the beaches, mm -hmm. the warm water, the music, the parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, American parties can be different from Brazilian yes. parties, I'm sure. <laughs> You were correct if you predicted an indefinite article in the phrase a long time because I was identifying something. You were also correct if you predicted the food, the beaches, the warm water because Claudia was talking about something in particular, specific things that she missed from Brazil. For the same reason Claudia said the music, the parties, they were specific from context. You were correct if you predicted the zero article before American parties and Brazilian parties because I was talking about these parties in general, no parties in particular. Additional practice is available at EnglishCafe.com. My username is Jennifer ESL. Follow the direct link listed in the video description. There's more to come, so check back soon for another lesson on articles. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies.